Let me tell you the whole story. So I had my hair cut one time. This would have been late 90s. At the Flamingo Hilton in Vegas. And I was an old boy, you know, he had the cloth pompadour, the whole bit, and the jewelry, and the whole thing. You know, he was an old Vegas type, and they were still around. They're all gone now. And uh, at the time, the Flamingo Hilton. Elvis had his gig at the International Hotel, which was off the strip. The International Hotel ended up becoming taken over by the Hilton Corporation. It became the Hilton, not the Flamingo Hilton, the regular Hilton, which it, I think it still is today, although it may have been torn down in the last couple of years. Uh, but anyway, this guy had worked for the Hilton Corporation when it was patched over to <laughs> patched over to uh, the Hilton. And I ran into him working at the Flamingo. This is, you know, 25 years after he claimed he cut Elvis's hair. So I went in and asked for a pompadour. It was the perfect guy to ask. The guy said, well, you got the right man. So I was at the International as a hairdresser. And Elvis was there many times. He got called up to the room to cut Elvis's hair. And so it, this led to all the story, you know. Did he shoot the TV, man? He's like, dude, he shot several TVs <laughs> while I was cutting his hair. Because all of a sudden, the pistol would come out from under the under the robe, under the smock. <laughs> and he'd lay blast holes into the television because it would say something on the news he didn't like. Usually it was like anti-war sentiments or something like that. Hippie, anti hippie shit. He, he hated the hippies, apparently. Anyway, the other interesting part of the story the guy told me was because, man, I've seen some crazy shit up there in that suite. I said, what? Like, what? And he said, well, you know, you know, the Memphis Mafia is all around, sure. He goes, but Elvis's private security detail didn't work for the Hilton. They were his personal security team, right? Private security. I said, okay. He goes, but this is freaky. The weirdest thing you've ever seen, man. He goes, it was a whole team of Amazon women from Sweden. He said they were the Swedish all-female security team. They were elite special forces from Sweden. He goes, they were all six foot tall. They were all beautiful. And they could all kill anyone with their bare hands. And uh, I've been fascinated with that story ever since the first time I heard it. And I try to track down those facts ever since, man. That's a search I've been on endlessly. I figure out facts of that would have shown up in a book somewhere. Maybe dropped, dropped somewhere, man. Or enough, someone would have acknowledged it. No. So I found no proof whether this guy's story was true or not, man. I'm still on the sun hunt. So if you know, if you or anyone you know was working at the International Hotel, which patched over to be the Hilton, <laughs> when Elvis was there in the showroom, please get a hold of me and let me know and confirm if the facts of that story are true. That he surrounded himself with beautiful killers to protect. Thank you. Thank you very much.